I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Richard Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me for today for episode number 333, where I'm going to show you the concat list function in Quantrix, and this is how you can aggregate across multiple lists. I believe this function is new as of uh, Quantrix that was released in 2022. And this is also in response to a question sent in to me by Walker at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. Walker has a data set. He has a list of games and the home team of the games and the away team of games. And these teams receive a score of sportsmanship, whether they are the home team or the away team. And what Walker would like to do is he would like to go ahead and average the school's score across the games that they play, either as a home team or an away team. So how can I do that in Quantrix Modeler? So one way to do this is go ahead and create a matrix here uh, that has a list of all the schools because we want to compute a school based off, we want to compute a score based off of the schools. Okay, so what I've done is I've created a dynamic category here using uh, or for the schools. And now what I would like to do is I would like to say, okay, what is the average score for that school for the Anthem? But the Anthem lives in two different places. Uh, they can be a home team or they can be an away team. And I want to average those scores. So how can I do that within Quantrix? Well, uh, I believe the concat list function will do that for us. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say Anthem is equal to, I'm going to first just do a basic select statement. And I'm going to say, I want to select the home Anthem here, where my key list is equal to my school here, or my where my key list is the home team, and where my lookup value is the school that I'm on here, okay? And I want to also do this for the away, for the away teams and have it be the same school, right? So what I'm going to also do is I'm going to write another select statement and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the away anthem. Again, what am I, what is my key list? It is the away team and I am going to look up the school that I'm on right here. Okay, well, clearly that doesn't work. And if I want to get an average here, I can't simply go ahead and put an average around both of these and then take an average. I don't believe that would calculate. That would be an average of an average, which would not be accurate. So what I would like to do here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to maybe instead of putting average here, I'm going to put concat list first. Concat list. Okay. And then what it does is it has these lists separated by commas. So if I go ahead and I have my first select statement, it's going to bring back a list of values. I'm going to put a comma there to then put in my next list, which is this next select statement, and I'm going to close that. If I go ahead and I were to look at my dependency inspector here, and I were to highlight concat list, I would see that I have actually eight games that this school, number 52, is involved in. Okay, and now I want to take the average of the Anthem scores there, and I would go ahead and simply put average in front of this. And what happens is the concat list takes the <clears throat> number of items and then the average goes ahead and averages those items across the two lists because the concat list goes ahead and joins both lists together. So that's how I would solve this problem is by using the concat list. And again, you can go ahead and use any sort of aggregate here that you would like. So I think that this, uh, this, this function's uh, fantastic. It's similar, I guess, to maybe a union and standard query language in some regards, okay? So uh, maybe next time when you're trying to perform an aggregation across to two different lists, this is a way that you can do it within Quantrix Modeler. And I appreciate Walker reaching out to me with that question so that I could show you the concat list function. I also wanted to give a shout out to the fact that I have written a book. It's called Quantrix in 60 Minutes. Also has a foreword here by the man, the myth, the legend, Peter Murray, the founder of Quantrix. But in this book, 
I have uh, 60 minutes worth of video as well as about 89 pages worth of instruction on how to help you master Quantrix. So I would invite you to go to uh, QuantrixAuthority.com and check out this book and see the, see the topics that are available to you for your uh, learning of Quantrix. Uh, this is truly a labor of love and I would appreciate your support and I believe it would be of great benefit to you. Uh, to, to read this book and to listen to the videos uh, that accompany it. And if you have any questions about Quantrix, I really do hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix. I want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.